Thank you guys so much for tuning in again to episode two of Bones. It's been such a pleasure so far putting these shows out and really encouraging people to push forward with their dreams no matter what. This time I got the chance to speak to Miss Ashley Mora. This is my first time ever meeting this young lady and to say the least, it was such an awesome experience just to hear her story from moving here to Charlotte, North Carolina, all the way from Harlem, New York, building her dreams in the culinary industry and hearing some of the struggles that she has to overcome just to get to where she is right now. I really hope that this message, that this interview inspires someone out there, even if it's only a spark of inspiration that means so much and is one of the reasons why I like to do this show. So without further ado, sit back, relax, and enjoy this interview. Thank you guys so much for watching. First of all, thank you guys so much for tuning in to the show Bones. I have a special guest with me right here. <laughs> and just so y'all know, I've never met this young lady ever. ever. <laughs> social media though. So thank God for social media. Shout to social media. Right. So her name is Ashley and she, say your last name again. Mora. Say how you how you how you would say it though. Okay, so it's a Spanish last name. It's yeah. called Mora. Mora. You have to let the R roll. Let the R roll, people. <laughs> Let the R roll. Anyways, again, thank you guys. Make sure before we get into the juice of this show that y'all subscribe, like, comment, follow her. Ashley on Instagram. What's your Instagram? Forever Young 12. No O and the Young. No O and the Young? No. Just the U. See, you learn things every day, you feel me? <laughs> Ashley just moved here to Charlotte, North Carolina. From New York. From New York, <laughs> like six months ago. Um, it's super dope. We were talking off camera a little bit about the transition from being there to coming here. I told her, I'm like, yo, there's no way I can live in New York. But you know, if you're from there, it's totally it's different. different. It's different, of totally course. Different. And we're going to get into all of that because I do feel like it plays um, a big role into like your mentality, your of mindset. And then my mindset from being old oh, country girl from Statesville, you know what I mean? So it's cool to collaborate and get some ideas. Um, tell us a little bit about yourself and what you have going on currently. What do you do for a living? What do you do for fun? What is your passion? Okay, um, as she mentioned, I'm from New York, born and raised in Harlem, um, the real concrete jungle. So when you hear that, it's yeah. really like, you're walking out your building, just make sure you're prepared for anything that's coming your way. That's crazy. <laughs> not a deer, y'all. Not a, definitely not a deer. <laughs> More pigeons than a deer. <laughs> um, but I'm 26 years old. Uh, I grew up in a lot of creative outlets. Like my mom always had me working. So she, I danced in the dance state of Harlem from like ages three to 14. Um, from there, she'll always take me to like museums, galleries, and things like that. And I think that's what expanded my mind and interests into that. Mm -hmm. um, when I decided to move here, it was very sporadic. Yeah. So that's a funny story too. Um, yeah, go into that. It was very like, <laughs> I woke up one day, you're like, I'm tired of this shit, low key. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I need something different. I called my sister. So my sister's been living here for four years now. And I was just like, yo, you remember that offer you made me to come through? Like. I'm just coming. And she was like, okay, cool. And I'll tell you, like, my savings were terrible. Yeah. Um, I have a three bedroom back home, so I share it with two people, you know, just bills and stuff and working. My savings were terrible. So when I tell you that little cliche story of people moving with a little bit of money, yeah. I moved their $300 in my pocket. <laughs> Bruh, and y'all over here trying to say 10 G's to move somewhere. Facts. Just go, man. <laughs> Just do it. Just Facts. do it. And you know what? That plays like such an interesting role in just being an entrepreneur in general because we kind of, as people, we get caught up in trying to make sure things are perfect mm -hmm. before we make a move. And it's like, bruh, if you stop thinking that way and just do things i tell people that all yeah, the time like it, it it will it will happen for you now it might be a little struggle but you'll get through the struggle exactly you know what i'm saying you'll get through the struggle but you had mentioned that you started working when you were young right mm -hmm. how old my first job was um i was 14. Oh, okay that's what's yeah. up yeah yeah I, yeah I think i was like 14 when, when I you got your first job yeah yeah it was something you know a little cheesy but yeah no mine was honestly i i like to ask everyone like yo what was your first job yeah 
I think my experience was super dope. What like was mine was like a summer camp, but the summer camp itself it wasn't like just centered in that facility. Like we'll take awesome trips. Um, at the end of the summer, for two weeks we actually went to um, somewhere I think like Philadelphia or something. Um, they sent out the staff first so they could get acquainted with the with the woods and activities and stuff, which was super fun. Yeah. And then that second week the kids came, so that was cool. That's dope. I was like the art teacher or whatever, but hey, that was fun. The art teacher. Yeah, my, my joint was like, my mom worked at, um, at the Holiday Inn and they started this little uh, like gift shop. Yeah. And they just needed someone in there. I was like, bro. That's I a chill job, it. though. It was cool. <laughs> and it, and, and I, be, I like to feel like I'm a part of language too. So it was like ground up, y'all. I had the, the boxes with the chips and everything, and I'm putting it up on the wall. <laughs> yeah. I think my first check was like, like eighty dollars or something. Look at that! Uh, I was <laughs> splurging. Eighty dollars? You can't tell me nothing. Yeah. But if you want chips? I got you. I got exactly. you. Exactly. <laughs> and then people like grown people come in there asking me all kind of questions, and I'm like, I don't know. Like I'm only fourteen. They're like, oh, you look so good. I'm like, bro, <laughs> move along. Do you want it or no? <laughs> like for real, they're like. Um, how many, like, I see you in here with nice drives, nice cars, what do people do for a living? And I'm like, I don't know, I work in this little gift shop. Thing, right. So, whatever. <laughs> but <laughs> People are really nosy, like, that's the crazy thing. People are nosy. And, like, even, even that with, like, people being in your business and stuff, y'all, I'm going to just say this. <laughs> y'all. Sh share, share lightly, okay? Be have discernment in the things that you share about what you got going on in your life and all that. And I'm gonna say this, but then I'm gonna get into everything she got going on mm. and hope. She no, please up. let me know. <laughs> <laughs> I hope she opens up. <laughs> so we are gonna edit that out. I'm just kidding. We don't. We gonna leave everything here. It's organic. Mm -hmm. But um, I know that off camera again. We were talking about you being in culinary. If you could just tell everybody how you got into that, into the culture. Of food. Yeah. Um, what everybody loves. Right. Um, honestly, I think the thought of, I was always like that one friend in the group that's always like, yo, come over, I'm cooking. Dang. I'm cooking, everybody we chilling. And I think just the thought of having everyone together, mm -hmm. that makes me super happy, which is, just to side note a little bit, what keeps me from going forward with any project that I do mm -hmm. is because my main focus is like bringing people together, but I still want to do so much. And then it's just like, I don't know where to go. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Like I'm doing this, I'm doing that. It's like, it's crazy. But um, in terms of food, that's how it started. So I've always enjoyed to cook for a group of people. Yeah. Um, my grandma owned a few businesses, me growing up, a uh, salon, a barbershop, and she had a juice spot, like an organic juice spot, um, that are very big back home. Um, so basically we just do like our little Spanish shakes, our empanadas, um, any fruit, veggies, juices you need, whatever. Yeah. And from there, I think seeing her struggles um, come to life, it mm -hmm. was like, Mm. Shit, I could do that. Struggles you know, struggles come to life. That was a bo <laughs> drop, drop the bomb bar right there. Struggles come to life. Yeah. yeah, it was like, nah. Sh if she could do it, I could do it. Like, Spence. my grandma's always like, till this day, she's retired and she just came to the states to work to like put a, another level on her house. Like, so you know. Um, but from there, that interest came. So, again, I've never thought about selling it. Yeah. or making it like a career or my business. And my dad, he works at like the top two restaurant in New York. Word. So yeah. my dad has expanded my knowledge and my experiences with food so much. It's yeah. insane. So I think just that balance of like wanting to go through that struggle and build my own stuff and kind of with my knowledge bring it together. Mm -hmm. So after moving here, yes. I was struggling because I'm like, where's the food at? <laughs> all these you gotta bring it because yeah. All these fast food places, then you have these like Spanish mm -hmm. restaurants that are super Americanized. I'm like, yo, yeah. there's no authentic food out here. I'm doing my research. I'm like, okay, so selling plates is something big out here. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, but I feel like 
all the food, although it looks amazing, like my mouth waters, I feel like it could be very repetitive, like yeah. very fish and biscuits. And I'm like, no, like, so what I'm working on right now is um, coming out of my building, I'm working on my licenses. So you know that takes a while. It does, yeah. Um, I put all my eggs in one basket. Okay. To trust the struggle. Okay. And I quit my jobs. I was working three jobs. Um, this, this type is going to be loud. <laughs> on, on when we edit. And you were working three jobs. Three. Mm. So I was working at Nike as sales and visuals, mm -hmm. um, managing at Aldo, and then I waitress at this club called The Nile. Mm -hmm. It's for like an older crowd. But um, yeah, so the two main ones, which were the ones that were picking up most of my time, yeah. are the ones that I decided to just take the risk. Like I said, go through the struggle and... Was this before you moved to Charlotte? No, that was recently. Okay, okay. Like after moving here. Oh, okay. Like after doing my research and all yeah, of that, I'm yeah. like, you know what? It was probably like three, four weeks ago that I was just like, I gotta go. <laughs> Bruh. You know what, I'm gonna say this because um, even though you feel like right now you probably, you're like, I have all these ideas and stuff, but I, I, I'm stumbling with moving forward. The fact that you just take the initiative to just do things is like don't feel bad about that mm -hmm. like don't feel bad about uh, I have all these ideas but now like what I, I'm just struggling to move forward because all of those things moving here to Charlotte quitting your job like doing your research that is a huge step and a lot of people don't even get to that place because we're so afraid of again perfection it's yeah, like we gotta have everything super perfect before we do anything, because we don't want to struggle. Right. We don't want people to look at us like, oh, I thought you were doing da da da. So you're not doing that, and now you feel like you're a failure mm -hmm. or whatever. It's, <laughs> y'all. I, I have to take in. I have to take in my energy so I can put my thoughts together. You know take what I'm saying? Time. <laughs> but uh, but I, I I do. I think that that's like super dope but the point that you are at now what do you think is the hindrance for you moving forward um i think because as the weeks have been playing out <clears throat> one thing about me is i like to have control yeah. so if things aren't going like as i saw them mm -hmm. i start to like mm -hmm. panic i go into panic mode which I enjoy. Yes. I I love it because it's like you can turn you can turn coal into a diamond under pressure. Low key, like that's just how I work. Like I work so well under pressure. Mm -hmm. um, but right now it's just like I feel like everything is bombarding me. Like okay, you really don't know anyone out here. Like how are you gonna get a clientele? How are you gonna do this? How are you gonna do that? This is not like New York. It might be not be the same rules. I've came across situations where people aren't as accepting here as I thought it would be. Like, mm. people are very, like, mm -hmm. cliquish. Like, we know who we know and that's what we're sticking to. And that's just the experience that I've been getting. Maybe it's not, yeah. you know. Yeah. I just moved here, I don't know. I'm just going off of the energy that's been given. So I think that is what has me, like, stuck. Like, oh shit, should I do this? You know, but when I take risks like that, it's just like, mm -hmm. what's the worst that can happen? I just gotta go back to work. Yeah. And I, you had mentioned before, like, um, people are sleeping on Charlotte that, yeah. that are from here. Yeah, yeah. And to me, it's, it's, it's like a syndrome of you having everything in front of you, but you're so used to it being there that you don't recognize. Yeah. Until you take a step back and look at what you have. So you feeling like people are kind of clickish here, it's not... It's not like a false feeling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it kind of is that way just because I think Charlotte is, when it's growing so fast, people are trying to get up on the ladder. So they look at other people as competition, whereas you could say, no, they're not competition. Like, mm -hmm. we could just help each other right. and build from there. But, but people just don't think like that. And Especially. Yeah. Here. I don't know. I also think like, because everyone is just so comfortable like mm -hmm. they i feel like they don't see the magnitude of the culture that can overpower like all the 
business that are owned by all these corporates you know what i'm saying like recently i just tried out this restaurant oh i'm very big on trying restaurants by the way like i'm always out here like googling <laughs> i have like a yelp highlight section <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I just tried Mertz for the first time, and I'm like, damn, why is why is this in the cut? Like, this is right. soul food. Like, why is this in the cut, and why is Chick Fil A so big over there? Mm -hmm. You know, and it's just like, yo, know, like Jay Z said, we gotta buy back the block kind of sure. mentality. But once you're comfortable in one circle, you know, you just play safe all the time. Yeah. It's like they don't know any better, and I just wish that they'll understand. Like, yo, your city is popping. Yeah. Like, your city is beautiful. Take control. You have so much opportunity. Like, bring your people together. Like, have everyone rejoicing, dancing. Reach out to other people. Like, bring other people here. Like, I don't know. I just think the city's so beautiful, but it's super slept on. So. Yeah. Actually, doing my research prior to coming and my sister putting me on, she was like, yo, I, I like Guy Fieri. So I'm into, okay, okay. I'm into like, the Food Network all day, every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I love Guy Fieri. Shout out to Guy Fieri. <laughs> <laughs> My guy. Um, <laughs> he went to Cabo Fish Taco. Okay, yeah. And my sister's like, yo, you gotta try this, whatever. So I'm like, all right. So then I started going down his list, and one of them was Mertz. Yeah. Um, that was pretty cool. What do you think is the biggest hindrance in you personally um, from saying, I see this gap here, like, what can you do to bridge it? I think what I can do if I can talk to myself, like come out and talk to myself, is yes. like, yo, chill. Like, don't let anything overwhelm you. Like, if whenever I feel overwhelmed, I just shut down. Mm -hmm. And literally, like, I'll go into creative block, and I'll just don't even. I want nothing to do with it. Like, push it over there. <laughs> what do you do to get out of that, though? Um, to get out of it, I literally like. Is I'm one of those people like you have to give me time. Like, give me like mm -hmm. a day or two. Mm -hmm. And I'm just constantly talking to myself. Like, I'm always like, all right, what are you doing next? Like, what move can you make? Like, I'm just always planning and moving and, and just going. And that's just how I kind of get out of that. It's just like, let me be. Like, give me my space. Let me close down. But that brings me back so much because it can happen so often. Then I lose inspiration. I lose motivation. And it's like, OK, I'm setting this to the side. And let's work on something else. Mm -hmm. So I think that's what hinders me the most yeah and to be real it, that's so natural mm -hmm. like it's such a natural thing to get overwhelmed and be like you know what i'm just gonna move this yeah to the side now. <laughs> but then you know you have to say how many times am i gonna move it over here right until i just do it you know i just do the thing whenever i get into a space of like just being overwhelmed I do that too. Like yeah. I draw back a lot. And I'm an extremely introverted person. All y'all watching, y'all already know how I am. <laughs> like, doing a lot of talking for me is... Really? Yeah, yeah. I'm always like, tick, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, not, not me at all, because, like, for me, my space and my quiet time is where I draw the most strength. And then I can come out and do stuff like this, because mm -hmm. now I'm like, all right, we good, we good. But, I said that to say, um, when you put those things to the side, it's cool. Like, allow yourself that time to mm -hmm. do it. But then set yourself a target goal to say, no matter what, like, how I feel, I'm going to do this. Like, I can't keep putting it over here and then picking up this. I mean, it's cool for a little bit, mm -hmm, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Um, but at the end of the day, you got to, like, like, no, but you're sure. used to that. But you're yeah. used to that. So, you know what I'm saying? And I, I think it's dope when people um, understand who they really are and how they move. Because then you can't, like, like nobody else can come in and tell you how to do right. it. Because it's like, nah, I got it. Like, I know me. I know me more than anything. So even searching yourself in your journey to, to do whatever you want to do, it's like, I got it. Yeah, I'll take that into consideration. Um, that's why I love to talk. I love to learn from people, um, for sure. I've, I don't know, I think I, I think I beat myself up a little bit too much sometimes. For example, like, I had this one project. It's called Pussy Power. Mm -hmm. um, basically just 
to motivate and empower women um, of New York City. Basically just asking women their background stories, like what's up, like what's one message yeah. from your struggle that you can have uh -huh. to tell other women, like what would you tell them? And if you go on the page, like you see women really have messages for people. Uh -huh. um, but that was another thing I've been working on since like 2014. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm always like, I'm gonna work on it in a bit and come back. And it's just like, bro, it's 19 already. Yeah, like, yeah. Get your life. Listen, don't even, I feel like things happen when, they, when they're supposed to happen, for sure, without a doubt. Um, but I have started so <laughs> many. Oh my, I mean, I, I, I wish I could even think of all the names. I have started so many businesses and like just ideas. Mm -hmm. It's like, okay, I got an idea to do this, so I'm just gonna do it. And then four months later, I don't wanna do it anymore. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it just took it takes that time in your own journey to get to that place. Right. Like, you have to go through trial and error. There's just no way that you could do anything without that. You can't accomplish anything without failing first. Like, mm -hmm. Whatever the idea is, just do it. Like, just go. Right. Just do it. If it drops off in four months, in a year, it dropped off. <laughs> Whatever. We're doing something. Else. Right. Um, but my homegirl, Naomi, that was, that I did, um, like a couple of days ago on the show, she's doing something like that. So I would definitely love to link you guys up. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, but uh, it, listen, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> listen, you guys. Listen, y'all. Listen very carefully. You are on your own journey. Nobody can take that away from you. The when you start messing up is when you start comparing your life to what other people are doing, and and you can't do that. Like, you have to say, this is my journey. Okay, y'all y'all on the outside looking in, and y'all may see me start this and that and then drop it off or whatever, but I know what I have inside and what I'm capable of doing. Right. So you have to, like, just keep that, keep all of that, even in your search of going around Charlotte and trying to figure out, like, what can you do? What can you add to it? But I did want to ask you, um, you said you wanted to go into the business side of culinary, or mm -hmm. yeah, like that. So, um, what ideas have you come up with so far? Okay, so <laughs> um, going back to like doing my research and seeing people are big on plates out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, when you go to a corner store in New York, it's called bodegas. That's what I was about to say. The I bodegas. <laughs> The bodegas are mostly run by the Dominicans, mm -hmm. and at a bodega you can get whatever, anything you need, like from female products to cleaning products. But what focuses, what I'm focused more on because of the culture is the food. Yeah. And I want to bring that aesthetic out here. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm trying to fix my brain. I'm like, damn, what can I call it? What can I do? Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know if you've ever seen the blue cups that say, like, thank you. It was our pleasure. That's, like, our, our iconic to-go oh, cup in New York. Okay. I'm like, nah, I gotta get my hands on that. Yeah. Like, to bring it out here. Um, so just bring in little details that I was noticing of how I can kind of have the people drawn in because mm -hmm. um, I'm always, that's always what I'm focusing on like all right what am I doing different to get the people to want yeah. some of this so I'm gonna call it the corner okay. like back home and it's all one word is the corner yeah, like yeah. a New Yorker yeah, yeah, yeah but you know what we call it the corner store yeah it's like the that. corner okay, store okay. but we won't be like let's go to the, the corner store we'll right. be like yeah let's go to the corner real quick <laughs> like <laughs> yeah let's go to the store real quick <laughs> so I'm calling it the corner um Actually, the reason I came up with that name was my apartment is actually in the corner of the building. So I'm like, okay. you know, they could come through, like, yeah, let's go to the corner real quick. Um, and what I'm going to focus on is a lot of, like, we focus on coffees, teas, um, natural juices, like smoothies and fruits and stuff. Um, sandwiches. Mm -hmm. The sandwiches back home are big, so like the bacon, egg, and cheese for breakfast, the egg and cheese, the chopped cheese for the lunch. Yeah. Um, and then I'll serve lunch as well. So I'll have like the authentic Dominican, like rice, beans, and chicken, mm -hmm. and all those sorts of things. Um, so that's my, those are my ideas that I've been coming with together and kind of just want to give people that feel of like, yo, come through, $2, get a bagel with cream cheese and a coffee, you good. Let me ask you this then. Do you think you can just start like now in your place, in your heart? Yes. Yeah? Yes. So I've, um, I've spoken to my complex. Okay. 
and I was I live in the university area. Okay. Um, when, like I said, when I moved, I had no plan. So I was living with my sister. Um, I gave myself three months. That didn't work out for me. Backfired. So I told myself, by the sixth month, I'm not out of my sister's house. I'm going back home. Mm -hmm. That fifth month, someone hit me up. The building that I live in is like student living, but apparently yeah. they can't say no to people. Right, right. So I I'm know like, exactly. I'm right. like the oldest one there. Hey. But. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I spoke to them and I was telling them, like, listen, I think this would be a great idea. You guys buy pizza all the time for them. You guys are making burgers and stuff. Save your money, like, invest it in your people that live here, like, and your artists. I'm always like, support your local artists. That's just always my thing. I'm always like, yo, support your people and let's bring this together. Like, so they were saying they're okay. Like, I'm going to start selling breakfast, like the coffees and the stuff for the kids that are on the go and stuff. When? I am, so when I quit my job, I gave myself two months to start. Mm -hmm. um, so I have one more month to go. I have a lot of my supplies. Mm -hmm. I still have to go. One more month, yeah. <laughs> We're going to check in again. Yes. In one month. Please one do. Month. I will. A play on me. <laughs> Not for y'all, this one. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I just got to go food shop and get everything together. Um, I actually just ordered some flyers. So I go put them on people's doors. Um, but in the city, the way I want to do it is I kind of just want to do like little sample bite sizes of things, um, package them nice or whatever, and give them out to people with my business card. You know, this is what I'm doing. This is this. Try this. You never had that. Yeah. This is not no biscuit. Do that. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's dope. So, I mean, to me, it just seems like you have all the ideas you have in a place, but like you said, I, and even even when you do go for it, do you feel like you're going to stop soon? Yeah. Why? I don't know. I'm not, it's just something. <laughs> I think it's, I think it's my fear. Like, I'm always like ready to jump to the edge. Yeah. But when I get to the edge, it's like, ooh. What are you afraid of? A lot. Like what? Like, maybe like, I don't know. When it comes to my business, it's like, I don't want it to fail. I'm always like, yo, this is my baby. Like. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take care of it as much as possible. So before that baby falls, I think I protect it too much. Yep, yep. Um, yeah, I'm kind of scared of failure. That's yep. what it is. And like you said earlier, don't be. Yeah. Like give give it space to happen. Yeah, and it's it's such a natural thing. Like fear is our natural instinct. It's like that like that net that catches you, or like don't touch it because it's hot. Mm -hmm. you know, you're, you're afraid to to go. But fear is also just an illusion, mm -hmm. like to a, to a degree. Now of I'm course. not telling y'all to no, go. No, I understand though. <laughs> to a degree, I mean, it's just, it's like, if okay, you tell yourself, if I do this, and it fails, then what? Then what? Mm -hmm. Then you just start again. That's it. But you know, that's the crazy. That's the crazy thing about my mind, the way yeah. it works. Like when it comes to like life choices that's how i think like what's the worst that can happen and when that does that worst scenario does happen it's like you gotta bounce back that's yeah. that's it that's, that's just it. that's just my life choices though like <laughs> i will yo what's up like let's do it i don't care but when it comes to like something that means so much to me and i think because i know the potential and the magnitude of it yes. that it's just like yo this could literally like it can go crazy I understand that. So when I start to think like, damn, what if it doesn't? Like, what if, it's just like, all right, let me chill a little bit, yeah. you know? But. It's such a natural thing, y'all. It's so natural. Even even me do, doing this two years full time, like solely, this is my income. You know what I'm saying? Like I built this in order to support myself. Mm -hmm. And even still, like I get times of like, well, shoot, like what if, you know, don't nobody hit me up, nah, nah. So then I automatically just turn it off. Like, you have to kind of train your brain to, as soon as you start thinking about that, just like, oh, no, 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 no. Like, okay, yes, it's true, this could happen, but no. Like, let's turn it around and let's think about something else. One of the segments on here um, that I like to ask, but you say you're 26, right? Mm hmm Okay. So, your 21-year-old self, what would you... <laughs> what Sorry, would you... the reason I'm laughing is because I... What's your sign? Uh, Capricorn. I knew it. Me too. For real? Yeah. Hey, you, Thank she's you. talking and it's like, damn, she sounds like me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's what's up, man. I will tell you, I do this all the time. Like, I was just talking to my 21-year-old brother. 
And the way I spoke to him was like, yo, if I could talk to my 21 year old self, yeah. I would have a lot to say. Like, yeah. he's like, say, he's like, what's up? Say it. That's you. <laughs> to 21 year old self. Hey. Yes. Dear 21 year old. I'm a no. <laughs> All jokes aside. <laughs> um, <laughs> honestly, don't be afraid to want more. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, you love to learn, but don't be afraid to push yourself. And all that, like, what's the word? Like, just being lazy or like just not going forward with your thoughts. Just take action rather than just think and plan. Just take action, that's it, just do it. Focus on saving, focus on getting yourself comfortable enough so that you can accomplish whatever it is that you want. Yeah. Forget about other people, forget what people think. They're always gonna be there. Whoever's meant to be in your life will stay in your life. Other than that, you is you, take care of yourself, move forward. You got this. <laughs> Drop on the, the bars, bombs. Right. <laughs> <For that. laughs> yeah, I mean, that, that's that's like, and I always say 21 because I feel like we're, when you're 21, you kind of like in the zone of you have a sense of what you're doing. You're but you still doing, don't know. But you still don't you're know. You're still growing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it, it's, it's, um, I just love that. I, I just love to pick people's brain and ask that question mm -hmm. because everybody feels like even when people say you know i have no regrets and da, da, da. but you still you're like if i would have known this back then then i would be X, right y, Z, you know but uh closing out i do want to say thank you guys again so much for tuning in thank you so much Ashley, no thank you for coming on here i i told naomi it's season i mean episode one this is season two y'all that's okay. what's up. Not season two, episode two. Oh, I'm like, well, that's the what's up. Bro, we, we learned. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much. Yes. And, um, shout out your Instagram or Facebook or whatever. Anything okay. that you got going on. Um, follow me at Forever Young 12. Again, no O in the young. And I'm going to get back. She just inspired me to try my pussy power again on the side. So it's spelled Pusse, it's P-O-U-S-S-E-Y, and Pawa, P-O-W-A. Yeah. Do you have um, uh, a website for it yet? Or I actually Instagram? just took my website down to work on it. Okay. That's the Instagram, okay. the Pussy Power. Cool. Yeah. Make sure you guys do that. Show her mm -hmm. love, show her some support. And we're checking back in with her in a month. Please, the corner, come eat, get a little chopped cheese. Chopped cheese, <laughs> got, chopped cheese got meat in it though, right? Yeah, I'm doing, um, I'm going to work, I'm not a meat person myself. Okay, cool. So, I'm doing veggie substitutes for a lot of them. Hello. <laughs> yes, so she said first plate is on her. First plate is on me. Not for y'all, so don't go. <laughs> don't hit me up. Don't hit her up. Support your local artist. <laughs> Support is not, can I get that? Like low right. And half price. Nah, bro. Right. Working out here. That's a fact. You know but anyways, thank you again. Thank you so much. Thank you guys so much for tuning in once again to my show Bones. It's been such an awesome journey thus far, putting out this new show and hopefully being able to inspire you guys to do whatever it is that's in your heart to do. If you'd like to be featured on the show or know someone that would be an amazing candidate, please feel free to email me at jamie at imageoutcome.com. That's jamie, J-A-M-E-Y, at imageoutcome.com. If you'd like to be a sponsor to the show, it's very, very affordable. If you have a startup company or you've been doing something for a while and you just really want some more exposure, this will be a great opportunity for you. If you're interested, same thing applies. Please hit me up and my email at jamie at image.com.com thank you guys so much again make sure that you subscribe you smash that like button and you show us some love in the comments and as always make sure to keep it h-e-a-d-u-p and never ever ever give up much love peace never give up